We've come to our offering time and I want to thank you for your gracious, kind giving. We have done very, very well with Whole Missions and the Armstrong offering. We're up to uh, $2,340, which has really surprised me in the midst of all we've gone through. We've almost given $400 to Grand Oak Mission to try to help people with all, all the needs around us. So I want to thank you for your good, good giving. We've got a number of prayer requests that I'd like to share with you. Elvin Dunn's brother has had cancer surgery to his jaw. We're praying for his recovery. Uh, Retha has a, a dear, dear niece in the hospital called Chris. Uh, Betty McCarty has a friend who lost her son. Bill Wells is home and doing better from some serious stuff. Sharon R. is recouping at home of all places with her back. Uh, Mindy E. has asthma and a number of issues that she's got to deal with there. A seven-year-old boy, Colston, Little fella went to St. Jude and still having a lot of problems, did not seem to work. Crystal H has a lot of depression and we need to lift her up. Added to this, Mary Lee F. and Beth M. both have problems with high blood pressure. Dick Bishop, former pastor that you all love and we enjoy his jovial spirit, is having trouble breathing and very, very weak. Uh, Cheryl Kay's cousin in the hospital has had a tube put down and she's breathing much, much better in the midst of her bacterial infection. Uh, Cleta Etch's sister in New York is having further treatments with cancer and it should help her. The Malakuts have a good friend called Alan who's continuing to struggle with corona and we're all lifting up folks like this in prayer. Kelly, which is the stepfather of Jennifer S., is in the hospital. He's had heart surgery, and in the midst of all of that, he's in a room on his own, which means God is answering. God is answering prayer. Rex P. asked us to continue to pray for him with his infusions. In a moment, we're not, not only going to pray about these needs, Kevin will lead us, but also I want you to remember whole missions. This clip will be a blessing and a help to you and to me as we close out this offering. Kevin, would you please lead us in prayer? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for the ability that we can get your word out, Father, through this, this new way of doing things. And Father, as Brother Lee mentioned, <clears throat> all these people that uh, we put on our prayer list, God, you have touched their lives. And there are so many prayers that have been answered that we've not brought up. And God, we just thank you for that continuing help in that. And Father, I ask that uh, as we go through these trying times and as we give our gifts to you, that, that these will be used and uh, with home missions, Father, and uh, Grand Oak Mission, uh, their need is great that we can, we can contribute, we can help uh, God's people with these gifts that we give. And just thank you so much, Father, for the, for the gifts that have been given by our church body. Now, God, we just ask you to continue to work in the lives of all these on our list that we've mentioned. Any unspoken prayer requests, God, you know what they are. You are the physician, the great physician, the healer. You made us, you know us, mm -hmm. you know every cell, Father. And so we just ask you to continue to help us. And God, we also ask that you be with our nation, uh, be with our leaders, that they make the right decisions during this pandemic, that we don't uh, uh, call it quits too quick on this and that that caused some issues so God would just ask you to be with them that they make sound judgment now father just be with this part of our service be with the gift and the giver and uh, take this offering and multiply it for your use in Jesus name amen